This is an Ashthorpe S-Type. There's no model name, there's no serial number. It's just an Ashthorpe S-Type. And I bought it on Amazon for the princely sum of $100. So, how good could this thing possibly be for that amount of money? Well, you heard the demo, it's pretty freaking sweet. So again, this is the Ashthorpe S-Type. Again, no model name, no nothing like that. And it cost me $100 on Amazon, and it is in this beautiful green burst with like this flame maple top thing going on here. It's probably a veneer, but show me another guitar under $100 with a nicer top. I'll wait. This particular one right here comes in a couple different colors. You have a plain top, black and white, and then you have a red, blue, and this green one here with this kind of bursty flame maple top look. <laughs> I went with the green because I've never owned a green guitar before, so here we go. So what's the deal? $100 guitar, we've seen that before, but wait, there's more. Because for your $100, the most impressive part of all of this, I think, is the gig bag. Because yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is an actual functioning padded branded gig bag. So you see it's Ashthorpe right here. It's got a nice secure handle, two shoulder straps, a front pocket, and then you go look on the inside and it's, it's padded and it's nice and soft. It's an actual nice gig bag. This came with the guitar for $100. That is bonkers. <laughs> But then on top of that, you also get your little typical bag of goodies here. You get what admittedly feels like a pretty nice instrument cable with three Ashthorpe picks, what looks to be a pretty nice looking strap, an Ashthorpe branded cleaning cloth, I'll be sure to keep that around, I always use that, and probably the weakest part of this little care package here, the Ashthorpe branded strings. These are uh, 9 to 42s, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So let me reiterate, you get a functioning, nice playing guitar, a nice padded branded gig bag, and a bag of goodies to get you started, all for $100 off of Amazon shipped to your door. Let's take a closer look at the build of this thing and we'll talk about playability. So on these ultra budget guitars, like I'm talking sub $100 for a brand new guitar, you gotta wonder where they cut corners. Typical culprits, tuning machines, nut, frets, electronics. Ashthorpe has found a way to make this thing out of the box, at least in my experience, playable, straight out of the box. I reached in the bag, because it was in the bag when it got shipped, grabbed the neck expecting to get cut up, not a single sharp fret on this thing. When I got it out and plugged it in, I expected the pickup to be microphonic, not at all. When I started tuning it with the stock strings on it, just to see, you know, how kind of how it played, I expected it to go out of tune wildly, not tune up at all. It tuned up fine. It stayed in tune with the stock strings. Now I mentioned the strings because those are probably the weakest point of the guitar. They just got that weird kind of grimy film on there. They leave the dark spots on your fingers whenever you play like the dirt. Just change them immediately. Don't even try to play with the stock strings. They're garbage change them. In 
my instance, I put some Diodario 10 to 52s on there. Plays great. The tuners, they're just sealed tuners. They work great. Two string trees. I know some people like them, some people don't do what you want with them. The nut, probably the second weakest point on this guitar. It's not cut all that great, it's a little sloppy, but again, put your strings in there, put a little bit of pencil lead in there, you know, to lubricate it, and maybe file it down just a little bit if you're upping the string gauge, but otherwise, I mean, it works. Again, no sharp frets on this thing. It's smooth as the Dickens. That is blowing my mind. It's got a thicker neck on it. It's not like a super chunky baseball neck, but it's it's a thicker neck, so just keep that in mind. It's got that kind of raw wood finish to it, so if you wanted to stain it, if you wanted to put like some kind of glossy kind of something on the back of it, if you prefer, you could probably do that pretty easily. Front of the fretboard is the same way. It's that unfinished kind of like cheap neck. I think the only other problem that I had with the neck was the frets were scratchy, so you know, they kind of made that noise. They don't do it now, I've sorted it out. A little bit of steel wool, just a little bit of playing and just bending. It'll wear them right down and it sounds great. It's a poplar body. It doesn't weigh all that much. It probably weighs about as much as your typical Squire bullet or maybe an Affinity. It's got a bit of a thinner body, so it's comparable to that. Tonewood wise, it doesn't exist. Gotcha. Overplay joke aside, you got a single nondescript humbucker here. As you've heard, it's not microphonic, which is another complaint that a lot of these super cheap guitars have. It sounds great. It kicks ass. There's no need to change it right away. <laughs> There is, however, a weakness in the electronics, and it is with the volume and tone pots. They are cheap pots. They have no kind of range on them, okay? It's either on or off, and I've said this before, and that's usually where these cheaper guitars struggle a lot. Uh, the volume is on or off. You can get a little bit of taper on it to, to maybe dial back a little bit, but you're not gonna go from like ultra distorted to clean. It's on or off. Same with the tone, it's bright or dark. Something else that a lot of people like to complain about on cheaper guitars is the bridge. The saddles are clearly pop metal. The bridge itself is clearly some kind of pop metal, but guess what? All of the adjustments can be made. I've just kind of screwed around. Again, I've not had to make any adjustments on this. I've not had to change the action, the intonation. I've not had to adjust the truss rod, nothing. But I kind of just fiddled with them to see if they all worked. They all worked. You can make all the adjustments you want just fine. On the back, there's really no kind of contours here. It's just this one contour. You got your electronics cavity here. So if you want to get in there and change the pots, you can. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm not even going to go over if this thing's worth it for $100 because I'm going to tell you with 100% certainty, yes it is. And again, this might sound like it's some kind of sponsored video or someone's paying me to say this. I showed you earlier, I bought this from Amazon myself just out of curiosity because you've seen all these other videos where it's like, I bought the cheapest guitar on Wish and the cheapest guitar on Amazon and they're garbage. This one is not. Go on Amazon, go on Ashthorpe's website. Again, those are linked in the description. They're not affiliate or anything. I'm not making any money on the clicks or if you buy something. They're fantastic guitars. If you're a beginner, if you want something to kind of kick around your studio or you just want something that's fun, look at an Ashthorpe. They look great. They sound really good. And with a little bit of setup and a little bit of cleanup, they, they play great. And I say setup, this played straight out of the box perfectly. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, make sure you like, make sure you give the channel a subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. Check links in the description so you can go pick one of these up for yourself, buy some merch like this shirt here, and I'll see you guys next time.